welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing another Currently Inked and I realized that I forgot to do February. But since it's already kind of the end of March, I'm just going to do March Currently Inked and I have quite a lot of pens inked up. Um, and these are all mine. I don't actually have any of James's in this bunch. So these are all my choices and my maybe mistakes. I don't know. I just have, I, I think I have eight pens inked up. I have them right here. Um, and it feels like a lot because it is a lot. Now, I'm just going to go through them with you guys, talk a bit about what I like or don't like, but I'm going to keep it snappy and short because these are not reviews. This is a currently inked. All right. <laughs> also, look at Avi. Avi! She doesn't want to move from here. Anyway, let's switch a shot. All right, here we have the pens. And these are pens I've talked about on my channel before. And also pens that I haven't really shown you in a long time. For example, this is a Wingsung that I have not talked about in forever. This is a Parker 50 Falcon. I have not talked about that in quite some time. So let us just go through the pens and look at what is inked. And you'll see that some are just hardly ever inked and others are always inked. Now, I'm grabbing my journal, seeing if I can find some empty pages. We'll just start here. All right. And then let's just start with the Parker. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can get a bit more closer up look. This paper is Cosmo Note paper. I really love it. I've been using it in my journal and it's great. This is a Parker 50 Falcon. I always, I always call it the P50 because it's just a Parker 50. This is the brown version. It doesn't look very brown on camera but I promise you it is. I have the flighter version too. I don't have the black version, but um, I thought this would be enough. This is a pen with an integrated nib, as you can see, which is really cool in my opinion. Uh, should I use the line guide? No, I can do this without a line guide, guys. Parker 50 Falcon. There is no nib size indication, but I would say it's between a fine and a medium. And then the ink is dye mine. Writer's Blood. Writer's Blood has become one of my favorite inks because it flows so well. It is really wet. And it's one of the reasons I really, really enjoy using it in pens that tend to be a little bit dry. It's a great color. Two, that helps. Anyway, that is the Parker 50 Falcon. Next up is a Twisby. This is the Twisby Draco, um, which is a different type of offering by Twisby than their regular demonstrator type pens. I've talked about this one before. I think you can still get it. It was quite expensive. I believe it was like $150. But I really like it. Um, and it matches the Aurora I have. So I have the Aurora, which is a different, like, limited edition by Twisby that's green. Medium nib on this one, rose gold. Art Twisby. Draco. And then medium nib. And this is another ink that is super wet by Dime Mine. And it's my favorite blurple, so mix between purple and blue. I think it translates more blue on camera than it does in real life, but it's Bilberry. And this was like my first love, aside from Majestic Blue, um, by Dime Mine. It is super wet and it sheens super nice and golden. I don't know if I can show you guys the sheen. It is awful weather here. I'm going to up the light a little bit. But I don't know if I can make it. Oh, there it goes. Sheen. It is super dark in here. Like the grayest day ever. But yeah, really lovely ink. If you're looking for a wet ink, that is the one you need. Now, I'm going to grab the Pelican M600 which has a kind of similar finish, like with the red, but the Draco's more red and black, and this is more red and white. 
This has been inked for forever. It's gonna stay inked. I love this pen. Um, it's like a go-to. It's the Pelican. M600 Ruby Red. Medium nib. The ink is Lamy Dark Lilac. This is the ink I've chosen to be like the staple in this pen. Some pens I just want to staple ink in it and um, I just love this ink. It is the perfect purple. I know it's like a unicorn, but it is the perfect purple. Now there are good dupes out there. So uh, Diamine Mombato's hat is pretty good. Also a really nice ink, but I feel like it doesn't mimic the flow of the Lamy Dark Lilac ink as well as I would like it to. Uh, but yeah, lovely, lovely pen. Next up is, as opposed to this Pelican, a Cheapy, and that is a Wingsung 618. Talked about this on my channel a long time ago, uh, and it's sort of a Parker 51 copy. It has the hood and nib, but of course this is like a really different type of finish. And if you're looking for like a starter pen uh, with a hood and nib, I think this is the best one out there. I love the nibs on these. They're just really, really great. All right. This is the Wing Song 618. And I would say this is a fine nib. Now, I ink this pen with a diamond blue. And I know it's a diamond blue, but I'm having a hard time deciding if it's Sargasso Sea or Majestic. It doesn't really smell, so I'm saying it's Majestic Blue. Yes, I just sniffed my pen to actually find out what ink it is. Sargasso Sea has like the earthy smell. I love that smell. People don't really like it sometimes, but I enjoy it a lot. It's really weird. Um, but Majestic Blue doesn't really smell like that, so that's how I'm ascertaining the fact that this is Majestic. I'm trying to catch the sheen on this too. It's like a reddy sheen. The dark lilac sheen is being weird and non-filmable. Non-filmable. Anyway, let me up this a little bit. All right, what pen is next? Let's do another Twisby, which is the Vac 700 Iris, which is a super cool pen. I've been using this to study. It has a nice ink capacity and also um, I just really love the way it looks. And it's a really big pen, but it still feels really good in my hand. Twiz B Vac 700 Iris, and it's a fine nib. Nib is really dirty. Anyway, it is lovely, lovely. And uh, I have a dry ink in this. This is Blackstone and Sydney Harbor Blue. Now this pen is quite wet, so that's why I could put in a dry ink. I love this ink though. It is like the perfect sheeny, um, lighter blue. It's like uh, Fire and Ice by Robert Oster, but more sheeny and thus better in my opinion. Yeah. Lovely pen. Uh, sorry about my dogs. It, whenever it's a rainy day, Avi goes crazy about squirrels and she would like to go through the window and kind of murder them. All right, this is an Opus 88 demonstrator in the flowers version. And this is a giant eyedropper pen that I really love. I looked for this one quite a while. It was hard to get at some point. I don't know if it's actually still hard to get. I feel like it's not as hard as it was before. It has these lovely like paint splatter colors and a lovely big nib on there. Another big pen, I've come to appreciate big pens uh, as I've been going through this journey, which is pretty funny to me. I used to be more into the small stuff. 
All right, Opus 88 Demonstrator with a broad nib and this ink is I'm very into the dye mines right now. This is a dye mine. It is a purple. I know it doesn't look, it looks basically black. Like, that looks black. Um, I, there's two options. This is very useful for you guys. I keep forgetting what ink I have in pens. But I think this is purple rain. Because it is so dark. Purple rain. The other option would be Winter Miracle, but Winter Miracle has a shimmer, so I'm going with Purple Rain, which is a really dark, dark purple that has a lovely, lovely sheen. I've, I've inked a lot of sheeners, guys. And, yeah. I'll try and show you the sheen. It's still very dark in here. Um, but, I'm going to turn this around to see if I can... Like, get it on there. It is, oh, there we go. And then you can also see the sheen on the Sydney Harbor. So the base is like really dark purple and it does this. And it's lovely and one of my favorite things. I'll turn around this notebook so I can continue. Next one is a Lamy pen that I have not had inked in a long time. And it's a logo. Actually, I recently filmed the video about the nib on this pen. Um, which will be coming online after this. And I call it a CP, but it's a logo in the toilet version with the Lamy cursive nib, which is very fun to write with. So it is a Lamy logo, the twilight version, which was a special edition. I don't think you can get this anymore. It's very dark purple. Again, it translates barely on camera. So let me look at Twilight with a cursive nib, which is uh, Lamy's idea of like an architect type nib. Um, I got it from Goldspot, and their website says it is fairly scratchy. Mine isn't, so I would say the the nibs vary a little bit in scratchiness. So this ink is Lamy Turquoise. And I know I'm writing that wrong. I can never spell turquoise. I think I can live with that. That I can't spell it. Um, I like Lamy turquoise. I don't have a bottle of it. This is a cartridge. And I love it more when it like stays in the pen for a little bit. So it gets like a little bit darker and a little bit more sheeny. Because there is a potential for sheen. It just has to come out. Um, when it's a little more dried up. So this is a, a cursive nib. Side strokes are slightly wider than down strokes, but it's a very subtle one. There's like point, point 0.1 millimeter difference in there, so it's not that big of a difference. But yeah, lovely shading ink, by the way. So if you're not super into sheen, this is a really good shader. So yeah, Lamy logo. Very cute pen, very thin, like very different from this Opus. It's crazy how different that is. Now my last pen, and that is like the utility pen. Um, it is a capless pen. It is the matte black one. I really want mine to get like all scuffed up, but I think I got one uh, after the finish changed. Um, so they made it so that doesn't like scratch as easily. I want mine to scratch. Um, I should just throw it in my purse randomly, I guess. So, Pilot Capless, and I think this is a fine nib. Pilot Capless, or VP, whatever you want to call it, with a fine nib. And this ink is Lobby Petrol. Also, so Lamy Petrol, in my opinion, is comparable to um, Dark Lilac in the flow. I love it. So this color is like okay to me, but the flow is just so good that I love it. And that right there is my last inked pen. 
and now that I've seen how many there are I feel like I need to unink some but I don't think they're empty enough to be uninked so we're just gonna leave it at this at this group of pens and hopefully it writes and dries soon anyway hope you enjoyed my rambles about ink and pens uh, I had fun filming it if you have any questions about any pens please let me know in the comments and thank you guys for watching bye bye